Hi, and thank you for taking time to watch this video. Well, today is such a bright and sunny day. It's one of those days that make you want to count your blessings one by one. And I just celebrated my 26th wedding anniversary um, last week. Uh, well, in my family, we call it the family birthday. So we celebrated it last week. And I just thought, um, well, 26 years is a big blessing. And time really flies. You know, that statement of time flies is so true. Time really flies. I mean, it seems just like the other day, even though it's 26 years and eight kids later, but it seems just like the other day. And well, I could speak about 26 lessons that I've learned in those 26 years, but I will not do that. I'll just focus on three key things that I have learned along the way and I thought I could share, you know, sharing is caring, we say, um, those three key lessons that I have um, learned. And the very first one is choose to love, choose to love. It sounds simple and you know, I mean, you're married for love and it's true, you marry for love, but you chose, you chose to love that person that you married. And it wasn't because he or she was the best in everything. It is some attraction, a lot of it, but eventually you choose amongst many other possibilities that you could have had at that point in time. So that choice was, you know, with little knowledge because you really don't know the person that much. And as the years pass, you have to renew that choice. That first momentum, I don't know, I don't think it can really um, keep your marriage nice and happy over the decades. So it, you have to renew it. You have to choose to love again and again. So when, you know, physics have changed, you know, we've put on a little bit of weight, we've lost a bit of hair, or, you know, you, you choose again. You choose to love that person again. Or when you've discovered other things, you know, that, you know, they, they're waking up in the morning or other little negative things that you may discover along the way that, again, you choose to love then through ups and downs, even major ups and downs that maybe the, your spouse has made a, a blunder in his job and lost his job or lost a major investment in a business that uh, he or she got you excited about, you, you get over it and you choose again, choose to love. So that's lesson number one. Well, lesson number two is don't allow routine to kill your marriage. You know, it's so easy to fall into routine. You, if you're married, you know that. You know, after three years or so, and you have little toddlers in your house who usually follow a routine. They eat at a certain time, sleep at a certain time, and somehow you pass that routine to your married life. And you want to do things the same way, sit in the same place, you know, go to the same places that you go, uh, do the same things on a Sunday, do, you know, and it just becomes hum, drum, hum, which is really boredom. So I, I have looked for ways uh, together with Bob, my, my husband, to, to make to spice up life a little bit when we realize that we can actually fall into that routine and it could be different things that reconnect you uh, so for us in the beginning it was of course with all the energy dancing so we liked going dancing you know in fact a number of my friends can tell you how much they babysat and uh, babies refused to sleep and they had to sit up and entertain uh, those were the younger years soon we thought okay that's that's not too too nice for us anymore and we got into I think that time we started uh, camping yeah we got an interest in in camping and even when our, the, the kids were still quite young our first kids and but we interested some of our friends and we would look out for different camps camps across the country and go and it was 
exciting and we had the energy to pitch the tents and do the barbecues and everything you know and somehow find a comfortable spot for the babies to sleep uh, so that was our interest number two and then later uh, we even actually started a club for children below the age of 10 <laughs> imagine I, I mean i can't imagine now but maybe some of you who are watching were part of that club called telki where we would uh, go to different camps and take along other people's kids and just have fun and uh, well that interest I, I guess we outgrew it and uh, picked up another hobby um, can i remember uh, I, yeah we we got interested in in dogs keeping different types of dogs and somehow then we, we get to read about the German Shepherd, the Rottweilers, uh, the Retrievers. We even used to go to dog shows then with time we dropped the, the bougie side of it and decided okay just let's keep dogs and sell puppies and that kind of thing and it got us excited for a number of years actually just uh, taking interest in those dogs and getting excited about selling the puppies and naming the puppies and all that uh, well we still keep dogs but uh, one of our sons has picked up the hobby and taken it over so it's okay uh, but from there I mean different things from growing mushrooms and uh, little things here and there currently uh, it's health <laughs> yeah we've picked an interest in eating healthy so watching youtube videos and all kinds of things of uh, what people should eat and what they shouldn't eat and just getting excited about new recipes that are healthy that's our current interest and i'm sure i will uh, grow out of it and or join in something else but the point i'm trying to make is don't fall into routine find new things that you can both take interest in it spices up your conversations and, and makes make your you know your time together more interesting lesson number three is don't sweat the small stuff i know it's a phrase we use a lot in the workplace but it is also applicable at home where you know when you're newly married i mean i was there too uh, where i i remember yeah i remember um, when we just came from the honeymoon and we were settling in the new house and uh, I was putting the clothes in, in the cupboard and I thought okay blouses and shirts together trousers and skirts together you know and then the, the coats and the jackets and everything so mixing our clothes and putting them you know depending on the category and he came home um, and of course wanted to help and realized what I had done in the cupboard and said um, do you mind if we just put our clothes in separate ways I tell you I cried for hours that you know he didn't want our clothes together and you know, but you know he basically just wanted his own way of putting his clothes and it seemed a big thing then uh, I'm glad actually we separated the cupboards then because he is well order is his strength and it's not one of my strengths so you can imagine how many fights would have had if we didn't set it then so little things like those be begin to look not so important i'm not saying that you don't correct each other and help each other to improve you know you say okay i would have preferred this way i would have wanted this way that that's okay that that you give feedback and you get the best out of the other person but don't get uh, you know kneel by mouth because of little things that won't matter in, in, in five years as they say you know um, there are other more profound things that yes you may need to discuss and uh, or sometimes even get help no marriage is perfect so those ones you will deal with them but don't tire your heart don't tire your mind by you know sweating that small stuff you know uh, when i was uh, much younger <laughs> much younger married uh, i read a story that i think helped me in picking up this lesson it was of um, an, a lady uh, that had said when she got married she had written a list of 20 items 20 things she didn't like about her husband that she will choose to ignore Okay. 
so she put down those 20 things and of course with time the list got lost so the funny bit was that every time he would do something that uh, she was unhappy about she would say hmm you're lucky that's one of the 20 that i wrote down because she couldn't remember all of them eh? but it helped her to to somehow get along and 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 let some things pass so that's my lesson number three and that's the end of the video so i hope you have picked one or two things that can help you if you're married or help you to prepare to get married and please share this video if you like